week two at Memorial One, Nate B versus Abe Saka. Nate B pitching to Joey Cohen. He's going to fly out to start the game. Joseph Greenberg steps yeah. to the plate, and he yeah, rips one down the line. Ball. That's a fair ball. It bounced before the bag. So in that case, you have to look at where the ball is while it crosses the bag in midair. Ruled fair. Here's Gabe Abadi. Goes the opposite way. Look at that bomb. Gabe's going to come all the way around to score for a two-run homer, his first of the year, and get back leads immediately two to nothing. Abe Saka now takes the mound. Here's a ground ball by Charles Saka. Bobbled by Gabe. So Charles is going to be credited with an infield hit. Next up is Shimmy Cohen. Joey Cohen retrieves the foul ball. One away. And Charles has to stay at first base. Former Montreal Expo Ali Marshall sends one deep. That's a base hit. He's going to get a double. Charles Saka will come all the way around to score. Cuts the lead right in half. It is now 2-1 to one after yes! not new Zolta walk. Free pass, but it's another base runner on. We have a ground ball by Aaron Dweck. Joey Cohen touches third, throws across the diamond, but bounces the throw. That's going to allow Nanu to not only advance, but after another bad throw, allow him to actually score and tie the game at two. Up steps Nate Nathan L. Batash rips a base hit through the infield. Hank Dweck will come all the way around to score. Ball gets away from Morris Gindy. He doesn't block it. That allows Nate to go to third base. Next man up is going to be Ralph Tutu, Matu Greenstein Jr. Ground ball. Throw over to first is off the bag again. Very sloppy play from get back, allowing more and more runners to score. They respond with a four spot in the bottom of the first. I saw you guys running. up, four, two. That's field it, four? Is, field is very wet. Um, very hard to throw the ball. Already three uh, throwing errors. By you? No, by the collective uh, game. Oh, by the entire game, yes. okay. Um, I think it's gonna be a high scoring game. I saw you guys circling the bases. I thought it was yeah. at least five, six runs. I think uh, one of the broadcasters said we have no speed on these slapping the base teams. Yeah. So I think we took that to heart and we took about six extra bases. Then. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> the great one. The great one. Gotta win. Gotta Love win. you, Al. You must win. You must win. Is Navy. I love what Navy looks like. Look at this, the orange shorts with the orange shirt and black underneath. Okay, Sam Loudon batting. Fastball. Charles Saka calls it the best pitch of the year. Ground ball. Backhander gets through Alley. And they're going to hold him up right there. It's men on first and second. Nobody out in the second. 4-2. Slap in the base. Tokia. Let's it bounce. Gets by two. And they're going to hold him up here. And Lewis with the scoop. Nice play by Lewis. Bases are loaded. Nobody out. Raw Dog takes a strike. One and one. Yeah, that finger. It's crooked. Which one are you worried about? Oh, this, this one, one. right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I see how it's still this one was swollen off, yeah. so it went completely back. I could do this. This one, if I did that, it hurt. Roll with the bases loaded. Sky's one deep. That's very deep. Shimmy gets by him. One run will score, two runs will score, third one falls, play at the plate, he'll get in a three run triple to Eric Raw Dog Greenberg. Raw Dog is in the house. You're up. Give it to me, Raw Baby. Time. <laughs> Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, Nobody out still. Now get back, leads five to four. Yeah. Ray pops one up, Charles is there. Not a productive out out of Ray S's. And one out. You and Jeffrey are, let's go through the family tree for a moment, Abe. My father, Jeffrey's father, first cousin. So I don't know what that cousins. makes us, how many removed, nonsense. Um, 
Are you saying Joey won't get the job no, done? I'm just yeah. asking. I always got to think about... Who's up after you? Gabe. Gabe? Hit a bomb. Well, Gabe hit a bomb, so you may get pitched very hard if, let's say, there's a man on third one out. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he's just going to walk you. Not nay. Joey, ground ball. Charles looks him back. Gets the out at first. Eric, 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 I'm on Oh, Eric's in a... <laughs> Eric, I'm on Charles. Okay, Joe G now up. Now there's two outs. A.B. Cohen wants this. In uh, A.B. Saka wants this insurance run. He's up 5-4 now. Let's go. And he walked them. Joe G gets walked for the guy that homered. Gabe Abadi. Vamos. Oh, and two to Gabe. Popped him up. That's very high. Two. Two makes the grab. That was scary. No, <laughs> tons of spin. Okay, so with a man on third and nobody out, they don't let that run score. It's five, four, two. That was around 500 feet in the air there. Yeah. Bottom of the second, A.B. Saka pitch into number 10 batter, Zeke Dweck. Look at this shot. The ball is just flying. That's in the left center gap. He'll get to third with the leadoff triple, and he will score immediately on the very next pitch. Charles Saka with a ribby single to tie this game at five in the second inning. It would slow down as the game remained knotted at five all the way until the fifth inning. Get back had a couple of opportunities, two men on and two outs for Joe Torquilla. A little nubber here, completes the spring training play. Hank Dweck to Nate B to retire the side. Slapping the base with a man on second in the fourth inning, only one out, but A.B. Saka gets Nate B to ground out to second and then gets Tutu Matuta pop up to end the inning. So again, the game stayed tied at five. Top of the fifth, Raw Dog up again with the bases loaded. Got a head in the count. Nabe nowhere to put him. Remember, he had that base clearing triple earlier in the game. This time, he hits it nicely again, but directly to the left fielder to retire the side. He drove that ball, but we stay tied at five. After a one-out double to shimmy, here's Jay Money on the call. Fair wall. Stay too well. Shimmy scores. Allie Marshall yeah, gets him an RBI double. That's going to drop. Or will it? Max won't let that happen. Max, that's big time, Max. There's only one J Money, and that's him on that call. Here's an AB, men on first and second. Nanu reached via walk. That's a hard grounder off of Juber. That allows a run to score. It's now 7 to 5 slap in the base. Maybe would get a double out of this. There's men on second and third with two outs, and Juber would remain in the game. So with two outs and two on, Ralph Tutu, Matu Greenstein Jr. belts one into left center. That one splits the gap. Joe G has to run it down. Tutu's going to come all the way around to score for a three-run homer. Slap in the base, puts up a five spot in the fifth inning. They go up 10 to 5 and end up winning game one by the score of 10 to 7. Game two action now. Nanu Zolta leading off because he had to leave early, so they put him in the one hole. Starts the game with a beautiful line drive to right field. Up steps Charles Saka, but AB Saka gets his second cousin once removed via rising heat. After an Alley Marshall walk, this is Hank Deweck down the left field line. He pulls it, scoring the game's first run. It is one nothing, slapping the base. Shimmy Cohen draws a walk, and then it's Nabe helping his own cause. A sack fly to right field. Slapping the base was looking for more with two outs. He's Ralph Tutu Matu Greenstein Jr. Looks like a base hit, but Joseph Greenberg robs him with the sliding, diving, shoestring catch over there to end the inning. Two runs in for slapping the base. Bottom of the first, a man on second for Gabri Abadi. He gets jammed, but still strong enough to drop one into left field. That scores Joe G. 
2-1 ball game. Here's yeah, Juber, yeah, a very long fly yeah. ball with men on first and second. But look at the hustle from Get Back. No, no, Both you, runners tag two bases. Slide, Check out the slide by Gabe Abadi. Beats a tag by a diving Lewis Batesh. Great hustle by Get Back to tie the game at two. The rain starting to fall, but look at this defense by Get Back. Nice play by Juber. And then this ball is smoked, but Joey Cohen playing third. Easily handles the one hopper and throws across the diamond. Here's another ground ball. Joey Cohen up for the task again. A 1-2-3 inning for Abe Saka. Bottom two. Here's a ground ball to third. Charles Saka back to his natural position because Nanu had to leave. He has no problem making the play. And then a drive to center field. Check out Shimmy Cohen undeterred by the slop. Makes a sliding grab to rob a base hit. Third inning action. Louis Batesh draws a leadoff walk. You know that's going to come back to bite get back. Here's Charles Saka. A long, long drive down the line. That's a fair ball. That's a fair ball. And Pinny, the pinch runner, Pinny Silverstein, is going to advance to third. Charles gets a double. Have not seen Charles with that type of power since his game-winning hit in Arizona a couple of years ago. A couple of at-bats later with the rain really falling hard. A bases loaded walk. Allie Marshall also had an infield hit RBI in this inning. Slapping the base goes up 4-2. Get back threatened in the bottom frame. A couple of walks here. Up steps Maxwell Sutton. He hits the ball. A short hop to Allie Marshall, but he makes the play. Throws to second for the final out. Slap in the base leads four to two. Bottom of the fourth, maybe really settling down, getting soft contact, a little foul out there, and now a strikeout. They throw around the horn. It is still four two. Slap in the base. Top of the fifth. Here's the great Jay Money. And it's over his head. Saka has a chance at a home run here. They're waving him, and he will get there standing. Abe Saka would get the next three in order. Here's Joey say. Cohen throwing across Joey. the diamond and slapping the base leads 5-2 in the middle of the fifth inning. They're on their way to a sweep. Bottom of the fifth, 5-2 slapping the base. That's a leadoff walk to the 10 batter. Turns the lineup. Joey Cohen in the leadoff spot. Base hit up the middle. Right that over puts men eight. on first and second. Joe G will load the bases with another walk. And then Gabe Abadi, a nice two-run single. The score is now 5-4. to Two-run score. Gabe Abadi drives in two runs with the bases loaded. Here's Max Sutton, a ground ball to short on a sloppy, messy field. Alley fields it but can't transfer quickly enough. Just safe. Save all around. Bases are reloaded, still nobody out, and here's Juber. This is a bloop in no man's land. One Two runs, runs will score. Two get back scored. takes the lead. 6-5, get back. Sam Loudon steps to the plate. He hits the ball hard. A nice, beautiful base hit the left field. Two more runs will score as the ball will get away. You see another run scoring right there. Juba comes all the way around, and then Loudon ends up at third base. It is now eight to Loudon five. Get back a six spot. Two run triple. While the camera wasn't rolling, Loudon. Went from third to home, and they let him do that because no one on slapping the base called time. So Loudon basically stole the base, and the ref did not call time. Therefore, the run scores. So a huge inning for Get Back, a seven-run bottom of the fifth. Maybe looking to respond, a nice leadoff hit, but then three straight soft outs in a row after that. A fielder's choice, and then a routine fly ball from Al Sid, and then a ground ball to end the inning from Zeke Dweck. Get Back leads 9-5. to five.
These teams played until 1.30. They actually were so relentless, they outlasted the rain. They ended the last two innings playing on a beautiful, cloudy day with no rain. But here's Allie Marshall popping up for the final out. And Jeff this was a split that game. Get Back Nine came five. back in game two to salvage. Split decision at Memorial 1.